Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to change a City Select bassinet over to the seat. So basically you use the same seat frame. So just here, this piece that I'm taking off is the seat frame or the bassinet frame, but it is used for both. So let's start by taking the hood off. I do find it a little bit easier to do it on the floor, but I feel like doing it on the frame um, gives a better view for you. So I will take the uh, foot muff off, so there's two snaps here, or apron or whatever we call this piece, so take that off and then the hood, you just lift these little levers either side basically, it's not really a lever but it's just like a little tab that you pull, and then pull the velcro off, pop that down on the ground. Now the whole way around we just have snaps. So it's pretty easy to take off, but sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to put it on because you have to stretch the snaps over. Remove all the snaps. Now you can see that we are left with these handles, so I'm gonna put them out of the way. The handles really frustrate me, they just always get in the way. And then we have these four bars. So there's one here, one here, and then two on the other side. So they just clip off. They hardly even clip on to start with. So just release those. And then I'm going to take the seat frame off because I feel like it would be a little bit easy to remove the bassinet like that. So here is our bassinet fabric. Get rid of that one. And our frame, our seat frame, what we need to do is remove the end piece. This is a bassinet piece. You can see that it has studs all the way around. There's actually one design for the seat as well. So what we're going to do is on the inside, these buttons, we're going to press the gray buttons and pull that out. Press those and pull and remove that and store that with the bassinet. Then we're going to get our seat fabric, which has the end of this seat frame on it. So here's our seat fabric. Mine just has a pram liner in it. But that is our normal seat fabric. It has this metal piece that I'm talking about in it. And to remove this or put this on, it simply slides through the fabric. So if I just show you, it just slides off like that. See how it's coming off? Or just slides back on. Basically there's like a thicker, I'm not sure if it's wire or whatnot, but it sits in there and it um, holds it in place. So we're going to attach that to the bottom of this. So obviously we're going to make sure it's the right way. This piece at the top says the top. This is the grey lever to recline the seat with. We want to attach this on to the rest of the seat frame like that. And now when you put it on, there's actually two settings. So you want to push the grey buttons to make sure it goes in and you'll hear it click. You can put it on the first setting or the second setting. Now the first second typically makes a longer seat and the second setting makes a little bit of a shorter seat. So I'm gonna put mine on the second setting, I think. Just so it makes it a little bit of a shorter seat because it, I find that it's better to have shorter seats so you can have more combinations if you're using this pram in a double mode. Uh, when your children get bigger, obviously you're going to need to make the seat a little bit longer. Uh, first, to hold it in place, because I'm standing up, I'm going to, I think, just snap the top two snaps here. So, one snap here, 
one snap here. There we go. Now we have some understanding of how the seat is going to go like this. I might just pop this pram liner out so you can see what I'm doing with the normal seat. Come back down to the bottom and we have this, it's actually a piece of Velcro here and it needs to go on top of the frame to the back of the frame, then thread it through and Velcro it. So that's an important part to attach. And then I think we've just got all of our snaps left to do. There's all of our snaps done up, all of our seat is added on. Notice that there is a little bit more room in the footwell, it's a little bit deeper because the uh, seat frame has been put on the second one. If you put it on the first one out here, the footwell wouldn't be as deep, but it would be longer. At the top here, you can also see that there are two positions for the hood. So you can have it at the higher position or at the lower position up to you depending on how big Bob is. We'll put it in the middle I think. So just clip that in, adjust it up a little bit. Then we have our hood. If you're wondering what this piece is, if you bought it second hand and you don't know what it is, it actually zips on to the back of the hood here. Okay, that is now zipped up and we're going to put that underneath the back of the frame and then we're going to choose our height. I like to do the bottom height. So I've made this, I've put this on the smaller settings. All right, there's our hood. It should have velcroed automatically if you put it in the right position. And there is your seat. I hope that this video was really helpful to you. If you want to know how to wash the City Select, I have a video on that. If you would like to know how to change the seat to a bassinet, I have a video on that. If you want to know how I made the triple pram, I have a video on that. Be sure to check out those other videos. Thank you for watching.